every day I go to work, I'm just really appreciative of the privilege I have coming from my background um, uh, in Nigeria with uh, limit, very limited resources uh, to a country where I have pretty much anything and everything at my disposal. Being able to use the skills and God-given talents uh, to help, you know, uh, fix, literally fix people's hearts. It's a privilege. Um, I tell people I get to, I get to witness a miracle every day. As a young boy, I found that science answered a lot of my uh, questions and the more answers I got, the more questions I had. Becoming a surgeon was a completely different story. I made a diagnosis of uh, coarctation of the aorta in a young man based on history and physical alone. Now, this was back in Nigeria, so we didn't have you know, CT scans uh, at that time. Literally just came alive to me that all these things I read in the books are actually in patients. That was the moment I decided that I want to be the kind of physician that fixes, you know, the heart. And so two decisions I made on that day. Number one, I want to be a heart surgeon. But given the uh, dearth of um, uh, cardiothoracic surgery in Nigeria, I also decided then and then that I was going to come over to the U.S. Uh, to train as a cardiac surgeon. The first thing I do um, the day of surgery, once I've met the patient, I review the chart. Then I also meet with the entire team. I discuss the plan and my concerns and any strategies that we're going to employ for that case. I see myself as uh, sometimes a conductor of an orchestra because we have multiple teams, you know, multiple uh, people in the OR. We have perfusionists, you have the anesthesiologists, and, and as the heart surgeon, uh, you're literally uh, not only performing the case, but also um, helping to coordinate uh, the activities of all the different uh, people in the operating room. So at that point in time, I'm literally just uh, getting myself uh, into that zone and knowing that we're trying to do the best for that patient. There was a patient who had uh, an emergency situation and I had to have a, a down-to-earth, heart-wrenching discussion with his family members uh, as to whether to proceed uh, with an emergent surgery uh, to save uh, this patient's life. In an informed decision-making process, we decided to proceed. I felt really uh, fulfilled just being able to speak with his family members after surgery, letting them know uh, the surgery was successful. This is one of those times where you find some fulfillment um, in the career because just seeing the patient flourish and return to 100% uh, level of functionality uh, a few days after surgery was really, really rewarding. I tell patients all the time that I'm, I'm a man of faith and science, and I think um, my faith really does uh, help me uh, to be able to go through uh, this uh, high stakes and high stress environment. That's where working as a team is really important, that every member of the team knows their role, knows what to do, and there's that intercollegial uh, respect and camaraderie. It's really important for patient outcomes. So yes, it is rewarding, but it's a, it's a high stakes uh, environment, but it is what we signed up for. My name is Ademola Adeshe, and this is my heart for healing.